Hey, what's up, Tony? This is a quick demo video for you for your corn horn saber. Um, we're going to start with this saber all the way installed. So it's got a blade in it. It's got a battery in it. We'll show you the functions and then we'll break it down. Kind of it'll be kind of reverse of what I normally do. So you got um, you got gesture controls on this guy. Just like that. Smooth swings working good. This is a one button setup. So this button over here which will be on your right hand side if you're looking at the blade like this. Everything's controlled from that button. And then we can twist off. Um, I had to do some modifications in here to get this guy to work properly, but I did leave another tactile switch over here just for aesthetics. Um, I didn't want this thing to be looking lopsided when you were looking down it or, um, you know, just off in any kind of way. So I chose to leave that there for looks. Um, it does have a tactile feel. It's just not functional. Everything is functional from the right hand tactile. And then to change sound fonts, we just hold down on the button. And then that changes our sound fonts and then we can turn it on or turn it off. Now you have a blade retention screw right here that I put in. It's an 832nd. So if you have a black or anodized 832nd set screw that you want to put in this guy will probably look a little bit better than the silver one that I've got. Um, I didn't have any of those, but they do have them at Lowe's or if, if you choose to do that. But um, that's what's going on right there. Now, um, on the one button setup, this is using the stock one buttons that have been updated uh, to work with all the gesture controls, battle mode, um, FETs, FETs, uh, just everything, right? So basically what I'm saying is if you need a list of how you can control everything on this Sabre and you don't know already, let me know. I'll send you that list in an email. I just need your email um, after you get this video. And that's easy enough to do. But um, to get to everything, we're just going to want to unscrew this handle. Uh, it's super tight in this guy. <clears throat> um, it was super tight to get everything in here. Uh, I wanted to get you a 24 millimeter speaker. I didn't want to go short. I didn't want to go smaller than that. So this is what I had to do. Um, you'll feel it, you know, very tight, but everything comes out just fine. And there's your battery and we can just take our finger right here, pop the battery out, comes out fine. Um, you have a 24 millimeter Sabre essential speaker. I did have to go on this speaker and I had to shave down some of these two contacts. Uh, so that they wouldn't hit the wall of this handle because they were, and it was shorting out the sound. Um, this extremely tight fit in there. And so, you know, we want to give you the biggest speaker possible. Uh, your board is right here. So you got access to your micro USB without taking the board up. But if you needed to pop the board up to get to your SD card, just go in that corner right there with a pair of tweezers or something and just pop your board, boom, up like that. Get to everything press it back down. It's a tight press fit onto this shelf. There's no glue. So just one thing when you're pressing it back down, you can see that space between the end of the SD card and this piece that's holding my negative battery terminal. Make sure you keep that space and you don't press your SD card up against there when you're pushing it down. Um, you don't want to damage the SD card. So, um, you know, that's it. You got space junk sabers over here. Uh, I like to put solo sabers in Arabesh over here. Um, this has been sanded down so that it would fit into this handle a little bit smoother than it was. So now, you know, when you get it past this right here, this fits nice and smooth. Um, I will say when you put the battery in, so spring is your negative, right? Put the battery in. When you go to put this guy in, if it happens to get stuck right there on the battery, just come over here and press down with your finger and you can get right past it just like that because it is a tight fit. Um, other than that though, you know, it's a very nice saber. I think it came out very well. Hope it came out the way you liked. Um, just let me know if you got any questions. If not, this is going out in the mail tomorrow. Thanks.